I remember when my mama used to take us trick or treat, right? In every house that we came to, she would tell us tall tales about the people that live in the house to scare us so she could eat our candy up. Keith, now we at Mr. Mays' house. Let me get one of those better honeys. Ooh, this better honey show is good, ain't it? But anyway, kids, have y'all ever noticed that Mr. Mays kind of walked with a limp? That's because he was born with a little short leg. Now his sister, she was born with a little short arm. But they got a brother that was born with upside down eyes. Now when he look at you, he don't look at you from head to toe. He look at you from toe to head because, you know, his eyes. His eyes is upside down. We used to be like, oh, mama, I don't want to go to that house. That man may be there with the upside down eyes. My mama would miss a beat. She'd be like, let me get one of those dog pops. Mm, mm. Now they say that Mr. Mason's daddy used to be in the circus and had 20 kids. All those kids kind of came out messed up. Now get on up there and knock on that door. We used to be like, Mama, can we go to Reverend Bugs' house instead? The 70s were the best times ever to be black and growing up in America. We had God, family, friends, community, trust, and respect. But above all, we had safe fun. Halloween and trick-or-treating was so fun. And the candy we used to get is a trip too because remember we used to get those slow pokes and those sugar daddies? You take a good hard bite and you can't open your mouth no more. You be like, ooh, ooh. And your mama had to come pry your mouth open. Then she look at the slow poke and be like, Look at that boy, there's a tooth stuck in there. Today, you can tell how good or bad your neighborhood is by whether or not you let your kids go trick-or-treating there. The neighborhood that you let your kids trick-or-treat in is where you should buy your home. Back in the day, we trick-or-treated in our own neighborhoods. Our parents knew what houses to go to though. Because if you go to the wrong house and get the candy, and then you look at your little bag, you be like, Mama, it look like my m &Ms running around in my bag. Your mama's like, Dang, this ain't Mr. Bradley's house. This is Mr. Mitchell's house. It's so bad at Mr. Mitchell's house that even the roaches have to play in a great escape. Some of my neighbors were so old and so cheap that they were passing out the same candy that they had when my mama was a little girl. That candy was so old, hard, and dry that it would suck the juice out of your mouth. I am so proud of all of my 1970s Halloween experiences. But above all, I hope all of you guys have a safe, scary, memorable, and funny Halloween.